다음 강연 주제로 역시 흥미로운데요. 한국대 연구원 사토시 코지마 책임연구원의 새는 어떻게 노래를 배울까라는 강연을 청해드리겠습니다. 이번 강연은 영어로 진행이 됩니다. 
and found the protein, which is now used as a, a cancer marker or as a biomarker in humans, which helps the medical doctors to find the cancer uh, cells or other disease cells. So that's important for uh, humans. That's why this research also received the Nobel Prize. So now you understand that the basic research is using these unusual animals. Uh, important and sometimes hurt the human society. So it takes a long time, but uh, it's, it's very important to study in studies at these animals. And then why is it important to study songbirds? So these are also the unusual. Uh, research animals, and they have a unique uh, behavior, which is they have a ability of vocal learning. Vocal learning. I have explained this. So vocal learning is an imitation of vocal sounds, and the good example of the vocal learning is the speech sound learning. So actually, these are my family, my wife, my daughters. And my, when the daughter was a baby, of course she could not speak. They, and she just made an immature vocalization. Right? Uh, 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 uh. And, <laughs> but uh, if we talk to her, in, actually in Japanese, this is in English, then eventually the, she uh, learned to speak the Japanese or whatever the parents speak. So she made a copy of the adult vocalization. That's a vocal learning. And of course, if the, my daughter is raised by the Koreans, then she will learn to speak. Yeah. So that's a vocal learning. And the question is how, how can we study the brain mechanism of the uh, vocal learning? Of course, we need to look at the brain and uh, look, at, uh, look at the activity of the brain. So can we uh, put the electrodes inside the brain of the baby and look at the brain activity? Of course, it's not OK, especially for my daughter, it's not <laughs> OK. So then we need to have a research animal to study the vocal line. So what kind of animals are useful? Well, maybe you think that uh, monkeys or uh, mouse or rats might be useful because they are close to humans. But unfortunately, uh, we cannot use these animals because they, are, they do not have the uh, ability of vocal learning. So monkeys are smart, but uh, they cannot learn the sound from other monkeys or humans. They always say, eek, 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 eek. <laughs> They never learn the vocalization. Okay. Surprisingly, only a few animal groups show the vocal learning. Other than humans, only whales, dolphins, elephants, and the very, very rare species of bats uh, have the ability of vocal learning. But in birds, there are many species of songbirds and parrots and humming birds show the vocal learning. And as you can imagine, it's very, very difficult to use these animals to study the brain mechanism of vocal learning. So that's why we use the songbirds, which are very easy to study in a small laboratory. So let me show you the oh, video of the amazing uh, habits. So he speaks Japanese and English too. Hello, boss. Hello, boss. He's a hello, boss. And more. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> so he makes their many, many 
So she has a very high, good uh, ability of vocal line. But that part is kind of different to study in the laboratory. So we use the smaller song birds, the zebra finches. So um, just like human babies, these uh, baby birds learn to sing from uh, their father. So um, if the father's father sings ABC, ABC, then the, these baby birds uh, cannot sing at the beginning. But uh, eventually, they will learn to sing the same song as father's song. So let me play the, their song. The first, the father's song. So you, you can hear the repeated instruction. And here's the baby bird song. So it has no structure, it's a very uh, unstable song. But the same birds, they built a good copy of the adult song within a few weeks. And this song is very similar to the adult song. So I hope you understand that this vocal learning is very similar to the uh, speech sound learning in humans. And just like a baby uh, humans, so that if the father sings different songs, like X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, and then the, uh, this baby bird learn to sing X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So the behavior is very similar to the uh, human speech learning. That's why the many people believe that the uh, songbirds can teach us about the brain mechanism of the human speech learning. And not only for the speech learning in uh, baby, human babies, it's the study of the songbird is also important for adults, humans like me too. Because uh, it's very difficult for all Korean people and also Japanese people to discriminate the R sound, L sound in English. Can you tell the difference between two? So it's very different, difficult for us. And why does that happen? That's because our ability of the vocal learning is very low in adults compared to the babies. So the babies have a very good vocal learning ability, but the, it goes down and down when we grow up. And it's difficult to recover the ability. We don't know why it's going down. And we think that the studying the songbirds might give us the hints to learn the foreign language easier. So in the future, so my dream is that uh, if we develop some device or some drugs, then that helps us to learn the English pronunciation very easier, just like a baby. That's uh, my future goal. Okay, so yeah, and because of such advantage of the songbirds, actually there are many, many researchers studying songbirds in all, all over the world. Especially that of so many uh, major famous universities in the United States, Harvard, MIT, Caltech, they all have the many researchers studying songbirds. But only one in uh, South Korea, which is me. <laughs> so I hope we have more researchers studying songbirds in, in Korea. Okay, that's the long introduction. And let me briefly talk about my recent work. So one interesting finding in our lab is that the songbirds sing a song with vibrato. So vibrato is a uh, fluctuation of the sound often used by the professional singer. Ah, okay. So vibrato. And we found that the songbirds 
sing a song with the vibrato. That's very surprising to us, but it, it's true. <laughs> and we found that the birds make a vibrato only when the bird sings alone. But uh, they, the same birds sing the song with, with no vibrato when they sing a female. So that's, again, very interesting. And we did not know why. So we uh, made a speculation. We, we guessed why this happens. So one idea is that, that so maybe in this case, that this male bird is very excited to appeal to the female. So the very high motivation. So they can make a very clear sound, clear sound. But this case, there's no female. So the bird is alone. It's a lonely. It's a low motivation, no fun. And they just, you know, they are lazy. So they can make a good song. That's one idea. So we tested this idea by looking at the brain. So uh, we put the electrodes in the bird brain. It's okay to put the extra in the bird's brain. It's not okay to the baby, but the, for the baby birds, it's okay. And then we recorded the brain activity. It is uh, here. Oh. So these lines are the brain activity. So the, it's called the action potential. And these sounds are artificial sounds. So usually the you know, neurons do not make any sounds. But these activities are always uh, there, even in humans. So all the time, the neurons are active. Okay. And we found that uh, when the bird sings a song with vibrato, then the neurons show that very strange activity called the bar firing. It's, uh, it's kind of bubble, 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 like that. So that's for the burst firing. But there's no burst firing in this condition, no big lateral condition. And that uh, indicates that uh, some birds actively generate big using these neurons. So they have uh, some structure to produce the big so it's not, they are not lazy, just they are actively making the big round. And next question, why they make actively big round? So we think that uh, in this case, they are trying to appeal to the female. And but in this case, probably they uh, practice a song using the big round. So how do they use the vibrato for the practice? So he, here's what we think. So, the, <coughs> so when the birds sing, sing a song with vibrato, and the song pitch go, goes up and down, goes up and goes down, that's the vibrato. And every time they sing, uh, they listen to the sound and think of that song is good or bad. And decide to keep the some song. And then this song is high pitch, then eventually they increase the uh, song pitch. So they can change the pitch of the song. But if they decided to keep this song, then they can maintain the song. So we think that birds uh, in improve or maintain the sound using the vibrato. So always they are checking the sound. And this is just an uh, idea. We have more evidence for this. More evidence. So we tested this idea by this experiment. So we play the large uh, white, uh, white noise sound from the speaker. Noise sound like a so every time the bird sings the very low pitch song, we play the uh, noise sound. Because the birds are not 
like such noise sound. So they stop singing and they keep only this song, higher pitch song. Then we play the same thing, uh, we repeat the same thing. So we play the noise sound to the lower pitch song, they, they, they keep the higher pitch song. And then eventually the bird sings the song with very high pitch sound. Or we can also we can decrease the uh, pitch as well by, by flipping the changing the direction. So here is the example. So um, basically we can artificially increase or decrease the pitch of the bar song. And this is the evidence that the bars uh, change or uh, maintain the tone structure using the big apple. And we think that uh, human babies might use similar kind of vibrato to develop their speech sound. Especially the young bird. The young birds have the more vibrato than adult birds. So maybe the human babies might have, uh, they, they, they produce a very immature vocalization. That could be uh, kind of the vibrato, and that helps them to uh, develop their speech sounds. So that's the future uh, direction of our uh, research. Okay, so that's about uh, my talk, and maybe some people did not understand my talk. So that's why we have a summary slide in, in Korean. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't read, so I ask the, the moderator. Thank you.